to love it come get your ass into gear is exactly what's been happening right now around glasgow and the word that is going out is something that everyone is screaming about and they're screaming about it for the right reasons and of course it's because of yourself young man so gordon tell everyone what it is about what it is you're doing here right now that's got everyone so intrigued it's a brand new concept uh, it's never been done anywhere that i know of uh, any other le- le- leather re- retailer hasn't uh, done it um the idea is that if people aren't too sure whether they're into it they can try it uh without having to fork out uh, the, the full uh rrp uh, or people who are into it uh, kind of a different out- outfit every weekend if they wish uh, not basic concept so it's been quite fun because we came to the launch tonight um, we are at Fetch Gear for Hire right now and of course on the description right now on the screen you're going to see at the bottom right now all the details to get in contact and of course you'll be, be able to see as well there of course what's happening here and of course what you can get your hands on and the juicy thing about it is um, we've had a look around now um, don't tell Gordon but I have no idea what any of this is about, but we are fast learning tonight. We are really fast learning, aren't we? Um, it's been quite amusing. Some of the outfits I've put on tonight, you'll see the pictures um, on the Facebook page. Have a little nosy. Um, don't share them, whatever you do. <laughs> Please don't share them. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I never realised there was so many different things um, out there for this type of fetish so what what would you call this type of fetish to people um principally male leather uh, just now but we'll, we'll be uh, expanding into f- uh, f- female leather uh, also uh, pvc rubber latex uh, that, that, that kind of thing as well then eventually sportswear um well we're, we're obviously we're constantly getting contacts uh, and information uh, and the exciting thing is it looks as if I'm going to be getting um, a franchise uh, okay with, so overseas as do, well. do explain this franchise thing um, I was in Grand Canaria for fetish week uh, made loads of contacts uh, and so just quickly sorry I know, I know I'm interrupting you but uh, fetish week to anyone that's watching right now that doesn't know what that is yeah. Um, what is Fetish Week? It's a week, week-long uh, celebration of fetish, and it's like any kind of fetish. Um, I mean, for example, uh, one day I was in a basement, uh, uh, sh- uh, studios, which is like a complex, uh, and there was a guy swimming in the swimming pool uh, in full rubber puppy outfit. <laughs> um, and it goes from that to leather to rubber to uh, sportswear, you name it. Um, and they have a... a Mr. Fetish competition as well uh, and every night there's events on every day there's events on you name it so basically something that tickles everyone's fancy yep. they've got it on there they have yeah uh, you you name it they've got it um, it's not as busy as Pride um, but there's lots of people from all over the world that go there every single year uh, and I'll definitely be back next uh, October I'm looking forward to it, and I'm looking forward to seeing your pictures because I seen that you were quite saucy there when you were there. It's um, one of those. Uh, was it one of those ones you put to the back of the diary, um, yeah. just so no one sees? Um, first time I was there, or the first few days I was there, I was banned for a day, and then halfway through the week I was banned for three days. <laughs> it was, yeah. Did you get given the equivalent to an ASBO? Uh, more or less, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? We've, we've now got to ask, why were you given an ASBO? Um, I posted fi- uh, pictures on Facebook uh, and th- th- I didn't think they were look, explicit. Or but, offensive. Or offensive, but obviously Facebook did. See, th- this is something funny because we we, we can actually um, we can actually um, debate with them right now because um, it's not Facebook that finds it offensive; it's the viewers, and obviously someone petty out there has decided that they wanted to attack you yeah. by reporting it mm. and reporting your post either as spam or something else, um, which we get quite regular daily. Um, but unfortunately, um, to our lot, they can't. Or anything. So, what is it supposed to be that you've done that's wrong? Um, just post pictures that 
somebody on my friends list uh, has found issue with or decided to for some reason try and get at me but see I've, I've got to laugh because I'll point this one at the camera right now and if you can't see it in the camera right now it's a come get your ass in, into gear our opening evening 25th November at 12 noon come is the offensive word there okay so in Glasgow usually you would say come here or something like that. It's actually quite amusing because that is a general word in Glasgow, isn't it? Exactly, yep. But um, some... Um, I'm trying to think of a nice word to use. Low Life has decided that the word C-U-M, which is an abbreviation for our slang here, um, is offensive and they didn't like it. So, yeah, so come get your ass into gear wasn't accepted. So, uh, Facebook have banned you, haven't they? Yeah, but, and it's very strange that uh, the timing as well. Um, I got banned for a full week uh, with that image, uh, and it started last Saturday, finishes at 7 o'clock uh, tonight. Uh, obviously, the last week is, would have been uh, major marketing uh, on Facebook, and it's just happened at a time to co uh, cause most inconvenience. And But... But do you know what? You, you say that, that it's caused most inconvenience, but we've been here during the whole uh, um, launch tonight of the shop, and we're thrilled at the fact that you've had so many people coming in tonight. And I mean, in, in characters as well. Yeah, well, it's it's been nothing but laughs, <laughs> the whole night, and that's that's not even involving the bottles of bubbly that we've yeah. been having. But um, yeah, the um, the characters have been all over the place. Yeah. Um, it's been all different kinds of yeah. tastes. I mean, the, the, the people uh, have embraced the whole uh, sort of concept. Um, you go into uh, other shops, and it's quite high pressure sales. I. When uh, customers c uh, come in, I welcome them, uh, ask for what they're looking for, and leave them to go on with it. And if they need any advice, then happy uh, to give it. Um, there's plenty of See, I can, I can vouch for Gordon on this one because um, tonight I tried on what were they trousers called? Chaps. Chaps. Okay, and I'm going to say the pictures are going to come public, so I'm going to highlight this right now. Um, chaps are not something I would actually wear or ever put on at any point. Okay, um, you up here. Shut up. <laughs> 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 but um, the good thing about it is um, I picked up the wrong pair and no pressure or anything, Gordon was straight in there and he was like, right, no, this is the wrong pair you've got, we'll get you the proper pair. And he came back and he got me a decent pair that fitted, that were actually quite comfortable on. Um, do you know what, the whole outfit that was picked out for me was really, really good and really, really smart. The highlight has to be these smart mm. uniforms. I mean, I, I say uniforms because I'm used to that, but um, we're going to say... You've got your own brand line out there now. Mm. Fetish gear. Yeah, well, I have to uh, thank my uh, web designer, uh, Michael uh, Chapman-Johns. Um, he designed the logos, and as soon as I saw it, I thought, perfect. Um, and the first time I, I wore these T-shirts, had people walking up to me in the street saying, do you realise that that's back to front? And that was an in an, an for me. Uh, explained uh, the, the whole concept, and it's... He's worked wonders with me. You've seen the flyer website, blah blah blah. Marvelous man. <laughs> he, he he genuinely is, and of course, um, the company that now that supplied all the uniforms and all the kind of stuff. Um, there's t-shirts, there's a uh, polo shirts, there's hoodies, there's all sorts that you can get your hands on. Now, if you were lucky enough to come and join us tonight for the launch of the shop tonight, you would have walked away tonight with a nice fancy t-shirt. And of course, if you didn't come tonight, then you walked home empty. We didn't walk home, but anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, so um, apart from that, the shop in general, you've done really, really well. I mean, uh, we're not showing you anything yet, but um, the shop, you've got everything set up really, really fabulous. You've got everything. The main attraction for me tonight has been the swing. I mean, when sling. I walked in... What? Sling. Oh, sling. <laughs> that sounds like someone's going to go... You know what? Well, um, possibly. <laughs> 
<laughs> Absolutely not, and not tonight. <laughs> it's a school night. <laughs> It's not, it's actually a Saturday, but we'll get on with this. Um, yeah, but no, um, the sling has um, has caught my eye because I looked at it and I didn't, I've seen it in, um, as a gay man, I've, I've seen it at various um, other sites and obviously I've, I've been intrigued as to what it is and how you use it and what you do. But you know what, there was no pressure tonight in here tonight. I was showing how to use it and what kind of things you could do on it, what kind of things it, it can do and of course what it can do. Um, it can stand, um, and it it's just you know what it's been a fun night the whole night it's absolutely been amazing um, I find it quite amusing that, but the, the amount of people that have come in tonight there's been a few things that have caught everyone's eye tonight in your shop and we're not going to give too much away because you're going to have to drag your arse out your bed or whatever you are right now and come up and actually physically see it but um, one of the things is the two bits of wood with the um, bolts is all I'm going to explain it as. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, not giving too much away, but what could you tell people that that would be for? And in case you're wondering what I'm on about, I'm on about those things in that cabinet. They can be applied to, uh, I would say, two areas uh, of, uh, <laughs> of your body. <laughs> and you can take from that whatever you wish. <laughs> and, I'm not, and, and I'm not talking about your ears. <laughs> Well, depends. <laughs> I was putting on my ears earlier on, but you know, but anyway. Um, apart from that, um, Gordon, you've had um, quite a... You've been quite open about the um, struggle to try and get the shop opened on time and about everything that's been happening in the background with the shop. So, I mean, just for anyone that's sitting there right now and thinks that opening a brand new business is so piss easy mm -hmm. and that they could go and do it tomorrow with a bit of help from Granny and Grandad. You've done this all off your own back. You've literally stood on your own two feet. You've done this. And not to blow his own trumpet, but from what you see on Facebook, you can get an image in your head and you think about something. And you maybe think that something's not going to be as good as what it seems. But Gordon and everyone that's been a part of this, um, they've went above and beyond. It looks absolutely fantastic. It looks amazing. We're going to get a video in a couple of minutes of me walking around the shop and you'll see that all. Um, but you've actually went above and beyond. You've done everything to make your shop look the best that it is. And everyone that's come in tonight has actually enjoyed themselves. Yeah. They've really yeah. found it amusing. And high sales through the till tonight. Yep. Yeah. Um Certainly more than I uh, expected as well. Um, I had a little bit of a heart flutter the uh, first time using the card machine, but went look clockwork. Uh, and every, everybody else that used the car, uh, card machine, everything was absolutely perfect. So, so anyone that's watching this right now thinking, hmm, do I go and visit them or do I, um, what do I do? So what would you say to anyone right now that's watching this, that's thinking, should I go and have a nosy? You <laughs> there's only I one can't answer. have got of you. Of course. Uh, I mean, pop in, uh, as Dan said, there's there's no pressure. Uh, we'll give you advice if you need need, need advice. Um, the quality uh, of the clothing is... I've not seen any better. Um, so, pop in. The quality of clothing is that good that um, earlier on they put um, a pair of... Um, is it called boxers or pants or boxers? Boxers. Um, they put a pair of boxers on me earlier on, and within two minutes of me having it on, I had to go back in the changing room and get it off because there was no room for circulation there. There was no room <laughs> for breathing or anything like that. And that's even with tucking it. And I mean, I don't usually tuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unless you're in drag. I've never done that. <laughs> I think I'd make quite an ugly woman, never mind a guy. Anyway. Um, we want to say a massive thank you to each and every single one of you that actually attended tonight and came along to the shop launch. Of course, we'd also like to say a massive thank you to Gordon for inviting us along tonight. Uh, Christy McCurdy, of course, for um, being there and, of course, supporting Gordon as well. And, of course, for getting behind. Is there anyone you want to say a massive thank you to but just before we finish? Um, Yasmin Asbat, who's the uh, manufacturer of uh, everything uh, you see. Uh, all my friends uh, that have supported me th through the long journey, th there's so many to mention, uh, but again Michael uh, Chapman-Jones for uh, su uh, support and all his uh, media work that he's done, just awesome. 
Amazing. Ladies and gents, that is it from me tonight, right? But I'm about to go and try the bubbly out again. <laughs> That's your third bottle. Not that I'm counting. It, not that you're counting, but it's a fifth, <laughs> actually, but you've not been counting. Um, and, of course, we're going to try out the orange ju- Do you know what? We'll tr- start making cocktails, so let's go for it. Um, but, anyway, we want to say a massive thank you to each and every single one of you for watching the video right now. And, of course, do not forget, subscribe, like, and, of course, share it with your friends. And let everyone know that Fetch Gear for Hire is up f- for tender right now. Get yourself in and, of course, hire that outfit that you require. And one final thing, get your arse into gear. Oh, I love that one. Saucy. <laughs> love it. I'm going to say a massive thank you. And that is it from me and, of course, Gordon tonight. Have an amazing night, whatever you're up to, or day, whatever it is. Right, whatever time it is that you're watching us right now. Have an amazing time. And, of course, we look forward to seeing you very soon. Take care.